What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Nomad King channel. I'm James Showers, joined today with the Squanch. How's it going? We're about ready to do a bag review, taking a look at uh, his setup and all of his gear. You guys ready? Grab your acorns, sit back, let's enjoy the show. <laughs> all right, let's check it out. All right. So I got the Occidentals, obviously, because they're the best bags I've ever had. I don't have the sheepskin liners on them. I just didn't feel like it. They, it's really hot in the summer, so I just never got them. So this is what I'm using. I'm using, I don't, I'll forget the numbers for these. I think they are on the back. The 570, and then the 560. Then I have my little hammer holder that I never use because my hammer goes here. What kind of raspy using? Oh, those are pretty sweet, actually. Yeah, they're like 15 bucks, but they're really nice. I was using an old one, and then I got a new one, and I went to rasp something, and I shredded so much off. I'm like, oh, God. Piece didn't fit as well, but oh, well. I got my knives. I get the ones from Lowe's because I don't like having to use a screwdriver or my gun to open it. So I just use that. I have my tape measure. Oh, not my tape measure. Yeah. My uh, circuit cutter. Tape measure's over here. And then this is where I normally put my hammer. My gun's hanging off here. Uh, I had a router, but it broke, sadly. Tape measure's right here. And then I have my... Speed square? Speed square that my dad gave me. Nice. These are looking good, man. Clean. I actually just cleaned them up today. I wiped everything down. Yeah, they look really good. Look good. Whoa, watch your toes, dude. Almost lost my toes with the knife. Yeah, yeah I wish that was a little sweet. deeper. You know what I ended up doing? I had a, uh, a one of those tool, tool shields, and mm -hmm. I put it right in here. And then I used the knife in there, because uh, I've worn through this thing nearly twice. Twice now, nearly. That makes sense. So. Yeah, I need to get something different from that, because uh, that's falling out and fell right So what kind face. of hammer are you using right now? Regular old hatchet hammer. Nice. East wing. That's what it is. It's real old and beat up now. I've destroyed it by hitting rocks and stuff at work and down the sides. Okay. Yeah, I tried one of these the other day and I uh, really liked it. I thought about doing like a uh, rasp review because right now you don't have to use this, right? You're not, you don't have any use for that. Nope. And then maybe you could use a keyhole saw here or something if you want. I use um, it for that for when I'm, uh, sir, I use that for a circle cutter. Circle right cutter. There. Okay, when I have cool. It, sometimes I don't always have it in there because I stab myself a lot. Yep. I guess if you were doing some steel stud framing like, like I'm doing, you could probably hang some... Uh, you know, clamps or something off this back or put a torpedo level somewhere back here or something. But there's plenty of room for more stuff if you need it. But this is probably nicer to keep it light, right? Light and simple. Yep. It's got a knife, quick little rasp. And where are you putting this guy right now? Right here. Oh, sweet. I have to empty my bags every about <clears throat> two weeks, though. Dump fills up with bag. dust. Yeah, real fast. Um, they make uh, not the sheepskin, but they have like those black padded ones, like the back buddy. And I almost think those might be better. I haven't tried them out yet, but I'd like to. I think I'm gonna get them with my next set of bags. The sheepskin, they do get a little bit warm, and the leather wears out over time. Yep, these are looking pretty good. And then you kept it simple with just the two piece. Yeah. Right. So you yeah. got your two different fasteners, and you have a uh, tape measure. And same here, you got some spots for a crowbar, um, keyhole saw, a um, circle cutter, like you said, um, many other tools. Pencils over here. If you want to put your pencils in there, you got a little pouch right here, which you can. Use. There's a lot of room on these bags if you have a lot of tools to carry around. And today we are accompanied by. Well, a uh, smoky, hazy sunset, but a very noisy freeway in the background. This is beautiful uh, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. No, you don't want to move here? No. Stay away. Stay away. And then uh, what, kind of, what kind of weapons are we using here? All right, this is what we're using. We're using the Milwaukee. Sadly, I don't know why, but for me, this always breaks out on me. And you know what I've, you know what I've uh, realized is that there is a notch system in here, right? And it's made of plastic. And the more you use it, the more that notch wears out. And then once that notch is gone, this doesn't hang up on the clip. Like w when you open this, right? Let me see this thing. There's this little notch. I don't know if it's right there. I don't know if we can see it, but there's a little notch groove that's like get right here when they're new. There's like a little line, a line notch, and it keeps this thing in check. When that's not there, yeah, this gone. this thing's gone, right? So it, it it you have to either 
take a piece of like cardboard or something and I'll run it in there that way it makes it kind of harder for this to um, go in and out but you can still adjust it or if you do you have to do something like this where you keep that nose cone straight mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons I like the mill uh, Milwaukee or the Makitas right now but I love these Milwaukee something about them I like that's one thing that they need to fix is they need to make that part like metal it's just a groove and it just wears out over time because you you just can't avoid it. It's gonna happen. Every single one of the guns I've ever owned has that problem. For me, my main problem is right here. If I don't like, after like I don't know, a couple like five months of use, this will just spin, and yep. you can't twist it, nothing like that. But I know you can go on Milwaukee. You have to click on the actual tool. And there's, I called Milwaukee to find out if I can get an actual part for that. There's a whole process of just being able to select this one part on the tool <laughs> off their website. Yeah. And it's like 15 bucks. Yeah. I am going to eventually switch to a Hilti with the collated though. Nice. It's about $800 for the gun and router, but I'll have a custom router pouch made for that. And then the new ones are pretty it. sweet. You know, um, you got to buy a certain type of, of, uh, a screw, but um, yep, you can get them for 150 bucks for a right. box of 8,000. Jeez, I'll only use that. I'll only use that though for when I'm tagging stuff up. For but when I'm screwing off, I'll switch it out and I'll use it as you would a normal screw gun and have to yeah, to or like ceilings, lids are kind of good. Yep. I know people a lot of people ask why. Well, you know, when you're doing a lot of subcontracting, a lot of your screws are supplied for you. So to get extra screws like that, you're going to be paying that's basically out of your pocket money for those screw strips. So those are really valuable. So if you're going to use them, like I said, those are going to be tag up my sheets real quick tag up my lid real quick but uh, for the most part if you're not rolling screws um, you're off the crew um, that's just how it is we're not getting um, our screws for free like you are in a lot of the commercial areas where everyone's using collated or in other areas where collated is the is the standard and all the other contractors are working the collated screws into the bid they're not doing that here they're only working the loose screws into the bid so um, we're still rolling them for all you people that keep asking these damn questions about it. That's why yep. but I don't mind it I actually enjoy rolling it, but um, they it does come in handy having that and it is getting dark out here We uh, kind of did this a little bit late, but you know what extra knives. Yeah extra knives sweet Tapes I'll never use again because they're all messed up and broken. All right, here's my super extra cutter. battery What kind of router you got going on? No router I, right now. Just no, been using it. Like... I'm using the wall right now. Okay uh, Milwaukee one broke on me and I dropped it from a scaffold and it cracked it. And uh, right now I just haven't uh, been able to get a new one. So I'm just using an old DeWalt. Okay. So it sucks it's a lot slower since I don't have it right through on me. I have to set it somewhere close to pick it up and grab it. All right, so we're about ready to lose all of our light here. But do you want to wrap this up with maybe what this cost you total and what you do again or? Yes. So the bags themselves. One they, second, let this guy right as wheelie right on by here okay all right the bags themselves cost um, I ordered them off eBay I got it for three dollars uh, three hundred dollars three hundred and ten dollars it took about a week and a half to get it all here the two batteries the charger and the gun was about three three hundred and fifty I had to get another battery because dropped it off a of, uh, scaffold but that one had to get another battery so <laughs> Blew, blew it up, huh? But, yeah, but the batteries went pretty cheap. They went from, I, th I think it was like 75 bucks, and now they're only like 50 bucks for a battery. So they're not that bad. They're pretty cheap for the batteries. And you'd say this next time around, you'd probably, if you could, you'd do the uh, a Hilti yep. collated or something. Yeah, I'm going to get the I'm gonna get the Hilti. Okay. Definitely. What about router? Are you going to get a Hilti to match? The, they're pretty big, bulky routers. They are pretty Have bulky, you seen those? But I've used them. There's this guy, uh, I was at the apartments I know, his name is Jeremy. He let me try his gun out. I was like, oh my God. It just made me want to switch right then and there, but I didn't, I couldn't. The router, it's bulky and whatnot. If I'm not able to get a router pouch to fit it, and that'll be, you know, light and durable, then I'll probably just go with the Milwaukee router. They actually make this item, and it is uh, like a little bungee with, um, with a little bead on it. And then you put a bungee with a clip on the gun, and then it'll, it drops right onto that bead, so you can actually add a bungee uh, maybe i'll send a link to it uh, a guy at a job had it and it was pretty cool but that's one way to add a clip to like any gun any tool that you want which i thought was cool because he had a uh, dewalt router and that was the way he clipped it to his bag so hmm. sweet well, definitely have to try that out. 
we have uh that's it we have total darkness right now sorry for such a late video um it was still pretty cool we might do an update in the dark with the squanch if you guys are interested so stay tuned for a video like that like share subscribe and then uh basically that's pretty much it you know do what you got to do out there in the world it's a crazy one right now so oh, yeah. stay safe yeah wear your mask stay classy um san diego stay classy san diego i don't know what that one is all right head off into the desk everybody